वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टू द डायनामिक फ्लैश फोटो गैलरी वीडियो सीरीज पार्ट टू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन द एक्शन स्क्रिप्ट पार्ट ओके लिट्स क्रिएट न्यू एक्शन स्क्रिप्ट थ्री पॉइंट जीरो फाइव एंड रीनेम द लेयर टू स्टफ एंड गो एंड सेलेक्ट द रेक्टेंगल टूल ड्रॉ स्मॉल रेक्टेंगल सेलेक्ट इट चेंज द साइज फाइव फिफ्टी it is 300 okay actually this is because of our arrangements okay so the images the images are in 550 into 300 dimension so we need same dimension in flash also okay so i just created a rectangle and change the background color to black and okay we can increase the stage with the okay 570 so there yeah, okay now select the rectangle tool press f8 on your keyboard okay confirm whether the registration point is selected at the top corner and give some name if you want okay okay then select export for action script okay you re just remember this class name and base class name don't forget this your class name is gallery base class name is flash dot display dot movie clip okay then press okay okay then select rectangle tool and draw one more rectangle And select and change the dimension to 125 into 75. Okay, so check whether the size is or correct. Okay, okay, 125 by 70, 125 by 75 is the dimension. Okay, so now press your feet on your keyboard. Give name as thumbs. Okay, select actual export for action script and press OK. okay now everything is over create new layer and name it as as3.0 okay right click and select actions okay first of all we we are going to read the xml file so just create a loader for xml file okay xml loader the type of the xml loader is url loader equal to new I'm sorry new url loader okay inside this we are going to give the url request so new url request so here you have to give the url okay url of the xml file so my url is photo gallery dot xml Okay, before that save the file. Okay, so photo gallery. Okay, so now I am going to add a event listener for the XML loader. XML loader dot add event listener event complete. The function I am going to call is on complete. xml load this is my user defined function so i am going to write the definition for that function on complete xml load the event e event type is event this function is going to return void value okay okay inside this function i am going to uh, read the xml file so you just write trace xml loader dot data now compile the movie by pressing control plus enter so you can see the full xml file in the output okay so if you want to access the photo uh, photo uh, node means you just write xml loader dot data dot 
photo. You just compile the movie. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, if you want to access the photo uh, photo node or some other node from the file means first you have to create a XML variable okay so I'm going to create XML variable XML file is my variable the type is XML okay so inside this I'm going to assign XML file equal to new XML XML of XML loader dot data so now you can trace the XML file now compare the movie by pressing control plus enter okay you can see the full uh, code of XML file okay now I want to access uh, photo node from XML file okay photo so you just compile it okay now you get the photo node alone so now I want to get a URL node dot URL okay compile the movie okay. now you will get the four URL tag okay so okay now close the actions panel and uh, select the uh, the gallery movie clip and thumbs movie clip and edit it from the stage okay so now we are going to create it from the coding okay so first of all import the class base class as I told you already so uh, I show you uh, I show you again okay so this base class is very important so I am going to import this class and I am going to create object for this class ok so import flash dot display dot movie clip ok so create a object for the gallery class gal gallery equal to new gallery okay so the x position of the gallery is 10 and the y position also 10 now add this child to the stage add child okay gal now compare the movie okay you can see the uh, gallery okay so there is no gallery actually actually there is no gallery in the main stage but when you are compiling that movie you can see the gallery okay gallery movie clip so now I am going to create uh, object for the thumbs uh, thumbs movie clip so just create par thumbs okay uh, t the class name is thumbs equal to new thumbs so t dot x equal to uh, 3 10 gal dot sorry t dot y equal to 10 now add this child to the stage ok now compile the movie I'm sorry I'm sorry so this is actually X okay okay I want to increase 320 okay now it's working properly so this is all about creating a uh, thumbs movie clip and uh, uh, gallery movie clip in uh, coding okay actually there are four images in the gallery so we need to create four thumbs so for that you just find the length of the photo okay so just create uh, write the code inside on complete XML okay you just copy all these things 
and paste it here so I'm sorry okay so we need to know the number of images in the gallery so now I'm going to find the number of images in the XML file okay so for that create new variable so integer variable and uh, I'm going to access the photo node and I want to know the length okay now trace the length okay there are totally four images okay so this is because this is because of this tra this trace statement okay you just remove it no need for this trace statement okay now we found there are four images so you just use for loop for i int equal to 0 i less than len i plus plus okay now I, I am going to paste this code inside the for loop so now compile the movie so nothing uh, nothing is affected all the thumbs are placed on one another so we need to uh, adjust the exposition so I'm going to x create x coordinate equal to 10 okay so instead of 10 you just use x co -art. so after creating a child you just adjust the coordinate value x quad equal to x quad or you can use plus equal to um, t dot width plus 10 okay now compile the movie okay now the four thumbnail thumbnails are created so now what we are going to do in the next video is we are going to assign the images to the thumbnails and we are going to assign the image for the gallery so in the next video we are going to concept.more as3concepts thanks for watching this video thank you